A new mining exhibit has been installed in the Arizona Mining and Mineral Museum at 1502 West Washington in Phoenix, Arizona. This new exhibit is a diorama of a modern copper mine in contrast to the antique equipment that is outside the museum. The museum invites you to come to the museum in Phoenix and discover the treasure, mineral treasure as well as information about modern mining. Please come and visit us. Before mining can begin, exploration geologists need to find the deposit. This is done with various techniques including core drilling. The drill rig drills a hole, generally at an angle, into the bedrock and geologists examine drill core to determine the mineralogy and the structures and the grade of the ore. The next step in mining is getting the rock into a haul truck. This is usually done with an electric shovel which scoops up the broken rock and puts it into the haul truck. Generally about three bucket loads will fill a 240 ton haul truck. Some mines use front-end loaders instead of electric shovels. Before the rock can be loaded into the haul truck, it needs to be broken up by blasting. First, the drill rig drills 50 or 60 foot deep vertical holes, and these are loaded with ANFO, ammonium nitrate, and fuel oil. Then electric ignition is inserted into the hole and all materials, all people, all equipment is removed from the area and the blast occurs. This breaks the rock and then it can be loaded into the haul trucks. The next step is for the haul trucks to load the material to carry the loaded material to the primary crusher. In addition, the haul roads are kept relatively dust free by water tank trucks that spray water. The primary crusher is generally an orbital crusher which moves around in a circle and crushes the ore against steel plates at the side. This generally breaks the rock into 8 inch pieces or less. Then the rock travels on a conveyor belt over to the mills or if there is a waiting time then it is sent to a primary ore storage pile. So the conveyor drops the rock onto the primary uh, stockpile. Then it goes into, it's fed into the ball mills. These are rotating drums with steel balls in it that crush the ore against the steel balls and the sides. Some mills are semi-autogenous grinders and those do not always need a lot of steel balls. After that, the crushed material goes into the flotation circuits, which are a mixture of pine oil, reagents, and air. The mixers mix the ore, and it, the ore minerals attach to the bubbles and then are carried to a concentrate dryer, either circular or some kind of a filter press. The concentrate is then taken to a concentrate storage area that is generally protected by a cover. Then the concentrate travels by conveyor to the smelter. At the smelter, the finely ground ore 
goes into the flash furnace where it ignites. Oxygen is added for complete burning. This gives you matte copper. This is fed into the converter furnace and that blister copper results and that's fed into the anode furnace. From the uh, furnaces, the glass that floats to the top is removed in buckets and is poured into the slag dump where it is later resold. The copper, after going through all of the furnaces, is poured into the anode casting wheel where it becomes the solid anode, 700 pounds worth. The gas is bled off and the sulfur dioxide in the gas in the smokestacks is turned into sulfuric acid in the acid plant. The smelters require a lot of cooling so there are plenty of cooling towers. At the main front gate people need to take training in order to uh, be on the surface and have adequate personal protection. They need hard hats, eye protection, and steel-toed boots, and generally safety vests. Special areas require additional equipment. Now the oxide ore is taken to the heap leach pile where it is dumped, spread around, and pipes of Sulfuric, of sulfuric acid from the raffinate pond are dripped or sprayed onto the heap leach pond. These rocks then dissolve, the copper are dissolved by the acid and the solution that has copper goes to the pregnant leach solution pond. Then it goes to the solvent extraction plant where two different types of tanks grab the copper and concentrate it and then uh, release the copper in a more concentrated form into the solution. A mine requires a lot of electricity so they generally have an electrical substation. The solution comes from the solvent extraction plant into the electro winning plant where electricity goes through the uh, circuits and copper from the solution is plated onto either a starter plate of steel or of copper. That produces cathode copper which then is sent to either a refinery or the customer. In many cases the customer is the rod plant and this remelts the copper and extrudes it as a copper wire. Generally away from the, the mine, the end result is a factory that produces something with the copper. This model has a wind turbine in it, a uh, wind turbine factory, because one uh, 3.7 megawatt turbine, wind turbine, requires five tons of copper in the electrical windings. Now all of the equipment on a mine is tied together to the control tower by satellite radio waves. Thus the control tower knows exactly where everyone is, what the grades are, where they need to be dumping and so forth. The end result from all of these operations is a product that is used in almost every application. After mining is finished then the area is reclaimed. First the slope is regraded to a uh, three horizontal to one vertical, which is a shallower slope than most of the mine. 
then rock is deposited on the surface and plants are hydro seeded or mulched with uh, seed and uh, fertilizer and so forth so that plants and grasses and shrubs will grow on it. The poop and stomp method of regenerating feeds cattle on the slopes and their hooves break up the crust and provide fertilizer as well as nutrients for the hay. The tailings impoundment is where the results of the mill are deposited and those can be reclaimed because they are so flat they become very useful for solar electric panel electricity generation. The uh, various processes at the mine are displayed in this setup with a video about one to two minutes long and a short description of each of the processes. Here are the ball mills and the flotation cells for sulfide ore. The oxygen plant which produces oxygen from air to be used in the smelter. The description of thickeners and the filter plant and the water treatment plant. Nearly all the water that is used in a mine is recycled. The concentrate storage is generally covered, as are some of the conveyors. Blast holes are drilled, and the best blasts are those that don't go up in the air very much, but break the ore into exactly the right size pieces. Electric shovels and haul trucks are very abundant on any mine. The slag pit is where the leftover glass from the smelters are deposited and then resold as shingle covering and other uses for heavy glass. The anode casting wheel pours 700 ton uh, copper anodes. The sulfur dioxide is captured in the smelter stacks and the sulfur dioxide is turned into sulfuric acid for resale or for reuse in the uh, heap leach pad. The engineering building is where the geologists examine core. The rod plant is an area where a final product is, is created. The electrowinning or EW plant produces 200 pound cathode copper. The SX plant is the way that the oxide ore is produced from the heap leach pad. This mine model is approximately 20 feet by 29 feet and has 18 video stations, each of which has a one to two minute video of the process that is lit up by the little button on the panel. Uh, Free food over here, so. oh, Children find over there. these yeah. stations yeah. fascinating. The one to two minute length is uh, about their attention span and we are creating a treasure hunt so that they have to answer a question uh, at each of these stations. A future challenge will be to create problems for them to solve so that there is a mind game so that each station has a typical uh, challenge that comes up frequently during the workday. For example, a crusher op or a uh, 
shovel operator seeing steel in the haul truck load and the decision the children would have to make is where does that go?